All right, hi guys. I'm just gonna give you a quick layout of what I'm about to do here. And show you the paints that I'm trying. Um, I got my golden uh, high flow acrylics. Um, I got it in magenta, fluorescent orange, and Hansa medium yellow. This is what they look like. I have never used them before. They did not mix up the way I uh, expected, so I guess this is kind of an experiment a little bit. I did try a smaller canvas, uh, the same technique, uh, same paint, so I do know what's going to happen. And I also put in some of this, or I am going to. Okay. Now. I have not opened up my paints. Uh, the plan is to lay this all out white, and this is kind of a uh, off-white, like a cream. I'm gonna lay that out, and I will try to be as quick as I can for that part. Hope that I have enough uh, white paint here. And the plan is to just pour each of those colors separately, um, and like basically just stand way over top of it and drop paint on and just see what happens. That's the plan. So I don't want to lay my white out until I know for sure that my paints are mixed and waiting for me. Because they were sitting here all night. And this yellow is quite nice. I'm really liking the orange too and they all uh, meshed pretty well and that's why I am going to do them again on a larger canvas. This is my first large canvas guys, I'm pretty uh, a little bit nervous right now because that is a lot of paint if it doesn't go well, right? But I think I'm actually getting more confident in my skills where uh, I think it will come out good because I can just add things, right? That's what I like about this. You can add things, add color where you think you need it, and uh, you got yourself a gorgeous painting. I also leveled this out. I also wanted to show you guys the back to show you what I did. I put tape on it, I put this piece of cardboard in the back, that is what is holding up the canvas so that the when the paint all is on there it's not too heavy and weighing down in the middle. And then I also took my uh, fingernail and ran it along the tape, along the edges, so uh, to ensure that none of my paint ends up underneath the tape. Okay, I have my pick, all these little tools, my paintbrush, my uh, palette knives, my torch. Yeah, I got it all guys. Okay, let's try this out. So yeah, lay it all out white. That's my plan. Yeah, okay, make sure there's no doggy here. Oh no. I don't see any. All right. And I don't know. I've never done one this big, so I don't know how I'm going to... If I should just go right in the middle or just everywhere. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Alright. 
And then my pick in a little minute here is going to help me make this all flat, guys. Why do your lips deserve new EOS crystal? Because you go all out. And you live a little. Okay, a lot. But all that energy. It makes your lips feel like this. I am going to save a bit. Hydration Maybe put it upside up. down. So you can keep doing that. Yeah, it's okay. Put your lips right with weight. What I need out of it. New wax. Come on, find a spot, Melissa. Yeah. Lip balm that works as good as it looks. Come on, Melissa. I don't want to be messing around here, guys. So I just want to get this painting in. Okay. All right, now you grab your pick here and you just go like this, and it should just pull the paint across for you. The edges I generally just slide like sideways. Helps me a little bit. And then the sides. See how my pick is closing in all those holes? Brush will always help me after to cover the sides. And the side of my pick here. And these this uh the music I'm listening to here is a copyright free uh channel, I guess, on uh YouTube that I just found does have a bunch of music. I don't know if people have made it and it's like copyright free. It's free. Um, I don't have to worry about any issues. Copyright strikes. I hope anyways. We'll find out. We will find out. Okay. It's looking very nice. I want to make sure it's all the same. The plan. Okay, I think I did quite a good job there, guys. So now I'm going to grab my paintbrush. And uh, I do see some that's spilled and whatnot, so I'll just rub it in. Just basically rubbing it in the sides here. Because there's a lot of paint on the top, I can also like this. Okay, looking good so far. more than likely that other side will be dry by the time I get back to it so I should be able to like finish it off quickly. 
quickly, you know? I hope anyways, because I just heard an ad and I'm not even sure now. Just heard an ad play in the background and uh, I think that might be a copyright strike. Okay, this in here, clean it after. Now the plan is to just make sure it's all sitting nice and even. Stuff, right? So wherever I see, I think I think right here, and it's mostly going to be around the edge. Because so I can see the spots, right? And I'll do that just by going like this, and then going like this, and then grabbing my pick again, right? And it's no. Let's not bother. Where's my pick? Okay. Now, just give it a little break again. Give it a quick break. And that should be it, man. stuff guys like I've never uh, mixed it up before it's very strange right when the first three thousand dollars it's almost like a stain uh, came out that shot 24 yeah frames. it was so weird to mix up everything about it was weird guys I'm just letting you know they are different they are not the same as mixing paint into your uh, medium and all that stuff it's not the same at all it is a learning curve figuring out what exactly to be doing with these fiscally minded growing up. So when it comes time for me to make a movie and I say, Now I don't quite know what I want, so I'm just like I said, gonna walk down it and splash this crap everywhere. Probably gonna use the rest of it. Okay. And I might need to use my right hand because I do want it to move naturally. And then we're gonna go sell it at at 
at Sundance or another festival and, okay. and share the profits. And sometimes what should I do? Wrong, and those movies only sell for three hundred thousand dollars, but sometimes you're right. I don't know, man. Dollars, I'm and just gonna start. Kind of scores with that. Just gonna turn it a little and go. I have no idea what I'm making. We did. Jay is um, one of the greats in many ways. The best thing he did for me was as a brother. Okay. We'll leave that for now. Let me hang out with him and genuinely wanted me to hang out with him. He can just take me and just And I'm just gonna follow them. Follow this one, right? And wreck my car and I really don't care because he he put me on my feet basically. Kind of follow like the lines that I've made. No, okay. Honestly, it doesn't ever get weird. I know Jay will always be trying to give me more than I deserve. I'll always be trying to give him more than he deserves, and it works pretty well. Okay. I really like what happened there. That was what I wanted. I wanted when I threw it, it to do something really neat like that. Because I know that that will appreciate the value. Uh, I like to now purple fly coach, and I like to drive a Toyota. I'm a very traditional, kind of 1940s guy who's, you know, very invested. Put this in that and hand. Appreciate it and build your wealth and compound it. I give a lot of money away. My wife and like I said, away. guys, I again, I'm just going to throw it on. We'll kind of try to be in the I might start from this I side. I really feel so lucky. Yeah. We talk about it all the time. I was in the right place at the right time. I think if. I made the puppy chair today. It, it doesn't get into Sundance. It, it doesn't do what it did for me. It just happened to be there. Which is a good thing. It's, you know, it's good and it makes you feel. Didn't bad. quite throw how I uh, thought it would, but you know, it doesn't really matter. It looks that. great. Oh my God, if I had not been at the subway at this right moment in time, I wouldn't have met my wife. I feel that way about my career. Like, I'm so thankful and almost, okay. you know. Super happy so far, guys. I don't even know if I'm going to move it at this point. Wonderful things you could worry about. What I will do, though, is keep these here in case I do turn out needing them when I do move this here. Okay. <laughs> wow. I think I'm actually going to leave it for a second. So I'd like to see what the paint's going to do. Whoa. It's gonna look really cool in a second once I move it. I know uh, y y it doesn't right now, guys. Like uh, I can tell from looking at the camera, but what I'm seeing, gorgeous. And I do plan on moving it. Put these back here so they're not in the way. Out of my way as well. Wow! See? Woohoo! That's exactly what I wanted. I was hoping that if I just like kind of threw it like that, it would like go and just like make some really cool effects. And it has. And I haven't decided if I'm going to pick it up and move it yet. I think maybe I should. Just a little. Now, let's figure this out which way. I don't know guys, uh, I'm confused. Okay, because it's not going to do what I want unless I just stand up. Alright guys, let's try. I don't want to ruin it, so I'm going to do it as nice and easy as I can.
sorry guys, I know you can't see it, but I am trying to make it kind of funky. I like how the top is, we're gonna leave that. And then I think what I'll do is grab my straw and mess with this stuff down here. I might even drop some more of my paint on. And just empty it, right? Perfect, okay. It's gonna need washed. Like I said guys, this is my first one. I really liked it the way it was. I think I can still fuck with it a little bit and fix it, but. Okay guys, I think I am going to just torque it that way. Like looking back on your self-esteem back then, how did you kind of overcome those obstacles and grow your self-esteem and become who you are now? Um, I think putting myself out there actually boosted my confidence. And I believe that self-confidence is a journey. It doesn't uh, miraculously just happen one day and then you wake up and then you're okay and then you can love yourself. You have to do it Okay, I'm going to keep messing with it until I like it basically, guys. Somebody just messaged me. I can't really be messing with my phone right now. Sorry, guys. Okay, uh, here. I need something going on. Right here. Right here. Uh, I think that means we're going to have to pick it up from that side. See, doing larger ones is quite hard, eh? Holy. Okay. And just let it go that way. What works for you? One phrase that comes to mind is it's working. There were really hard days where I wanted to quit. I had multiple jobs to pay the bills. If I look back and during the hard times, I would tell my younger self, just wait, it's totally perfect. I would probably say just don't focus so much on being perfect. Embrace the awkward, the weird, the silly parts of you because mm -hmm. that's what makes you you. I would say don't be scared. Just believe in yourself. You know what you can do. Don't let anybody tell you what you are and are not capable of, and just oh, don't worry, don't get scared. To love yourself the way you are, to accept yourself the way you are, to shine from inside out, you know, to have a strong personality, and to believe in yourself. Okay, so far so good. Now what do I want? I want this down mark.
I'm trying to do here, guys, is get this thing looking like I want, it has to look good to me. If it doesn't look good to me, then to somebody else, I don't see why they'd want it, right? So, I'm just going to make it look good for me, baby. Okay, uh, I'm kind of liking what I see. Can't decide. But I think I've like lost enough paint on here, so. I don't think there's much more I can do with it. Yes, sir. No. And I think I'll just grab my thing. And the straw will help you get some more effects. And if it does seem to do thick down there, then just let it keep moving off, right? Keep blowing this. Yeah, I'm really happy with this, guys. Just standing here having a look, see? See if there's anything more I can do to it. Hey guys, I'm just going to put my torch to this for you. Maybe get this a little bigger. what that did. I like to mess with the paint. It looks really cool.
Okay, guys, I think I'm happy with that. Um, I just want to tell you guys, like, when you, when you see something in one of your pieces and you're like, oh, my God, it looks amazing. I should just stop right now. Just stop right now. Like, honestly. Because I like this one, but nah. I think it looked better, like, when I splashed it like that. But we'll see how she dries, right? That's all how it depends, right? All depends how this bad boy dries on me. Okay, I'm just gonna get some air bubbles out. It's the last part of the puzzle. And this is white, so I am gonna have to pull it up off the floor. The dogs will have freaking dog hair on it. And then uh, whatever's left in the bottle, I will be bringing back in later to touch up the sides and whatnot. The other one that I did like this turned out really nice, so I'm pretty sure this is going to turn out really nice by the time it's uh, finished too. It'll still do a lot more changing. Um, yeah. This is a new paint, remember guys. My first time that I had uh, mixed it up, so.